In this demonstration, I'll show you how to find the critical numbers of a function. A critical number of a function f is a number c in the domain of f such that either f prime at c is equal to 0 or f prime at c does not exist. Finding the critical numbers is important because it helps us locate maximum and minimum values for a function. Let's start with question number one. In question number one, they ask us, find the critical numbers of f at x is equal to negative 2 x to the power of 3 plus 3 times x to the power of 2. The first thing that you want to do when it comes to finding the critical numbers is to find the derivative. We're going to use the power rule for these two terms. We're going to bring this 3 down and subtract that by 1. Negative 2 times 3 x 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and the same thing here plus 3 times 2 is 6 x let's simplify this we end up with negative 6 x to the power of 2 plus 6 x the next thing you want to do is find out the domain and we know that any number that we input into this x and then into this x will output a y value so the domain for this equation is every number for x. Next what we'll do is set this function equal to 0. f prime at x is equal to negative 6x squared plus 6x. And we're going to set this equal to 0 and then subsequently we'll solve for x. So we'll common factor a 6 and an x giving us negative x plus 1. And if we solve for x here, we end up with x is equal to 0, or x is equal to 1. And those are our critical values for question number 1. Let's move on to question number 2. Once again, we'll use the same steps as we did before. We'll start off by finding the derivative, f prime. The derivative of x is equal to 1, and the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x. And the domain for this equation is any value of x. I mean, think about it. Any value that you input into x will give you an output. So the next thing we'll do is set this equal to 0. So 1 minus cosine x is equal to 0. Let's solve for x. And we're going to bring this 1 over, making it negative 1. Then you have negative cosine x. You'll divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of that negative, and you end up with 1 is equal to cosine x. Now you have to think, when does cosine x equal to 1? If you remember the graph of cosine, it looks like this. You have a wave that starts at 1, then makes its way down to 0, even further to negative 1, and then goes back up just like that. It's at 1 here and it's at 1 here. This is 0 and this is x is equal to 2 pi. So you can generalize and say that the critical numbers occur at 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, but more general 2 times n times pi. And those will be your critical numbers. So there you have it. That is how to find the critical numbers for a function. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.